Investigation underway into a house fire in Talmadge. Take a look at the damage here. This happened around 3 o'clock this morning on 47th Street near Monroe. Looks to be a total loss. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live at the scene there with the very latest on what's happened there. Dana Marie. Well, the family shared with me that it was an extremely scary night for them. The devastation and damage you can see behind me is very, very large, even where those firefighters had to ax through the roof to get the fire out. Now, they told me that it was actually their dog who alerted them that their house was completely engulfed in flames. All family members were able to get out safely, including the dog, so they're very grateful for that. But the fire chief said that they needed a lot of resources to take out this blaze. Uh, it's going to end up being a total loss in this home, so uh, in, the, in the neighborhood of a million dollar loss. Now it happened around 3 a.m. this morning. The family said they opened their eyes to thick smoke surrounding them. The fire chief said it started in the garage and went up to the attic. And once the firefighters evaluated the scene, they called for three more trucks on top of the five already at the house because of how intense the fire was coming from underneath the home. The blaze was determined to be an accident and the cause undetermined, but there was no suspicious play here, they say. Initially, there was a concern a person who rented a room in the house was unaccounted for, but it's now confirmed with the family and police that person wasn't home. All escaped unharmed. I did speak to one of the neighbors who said that there was ex uh, extensive damage on the outside of their house, but firefighters stopped the fire from getting into their home or damage anything on the inside. So again, they are thankful. The family is thankful that everyone was out and OK. Uh, they have set up a GoFundMe account. Right now we're seeing the cars that were dev uh, destroyed being towed away. Two of those cars were in the driveway of that home when it was on fire. So one of the cars still visibly burned and charred. And uh, that's when we see here now that cleanup. The family is speaking with insurance. I'm being told and they're walking around making sure they can't get anything else out from the house that wasn't burned. So they do have a GoFundMe online. You could find it on CBS8.com.